welcome back guys this is Ibrahim Qureshi here and today I'm going to show you how to add a host to a vCenter server this is my brand new vCenter server running 7.0 I just completed the installation and what we are going to do now is we are going to right click and add a new data center and I'm going to call the data center let's leave it at data center default values why not and then we will create a first cluster and we will call it London I do not want to enable any of the features which is DRS and HA but we will be using this going forward now we have our data center and our cluster added now we are ready to add the host right click on the cluster click add host if you are having the dns configured properly i would prefer to use the fully qualified domain name or else you can use the ip address my host is uh, esx01 dot lab dot local you can add multiple hosts if you want to and uh, you just need to give the host name and then you can if they have the same password you just need to select uh, use the same password um, or else what you can do is you can individually mention the passwords so let's add two hosts i have two hosts here and they have a little bit different password click on next as you can see it's asking us to accept the thumbprint which is SHA-1 accept that so there is a warning here which is fine this is basically having some port on VMs this is the host way I have got vCenter running, my DSCP server running. Uh, sorry, the host and DNS server running. So this this is the first host I have configured in my lab, ESX01. Let's click on next. And we can see both the hosts are ready to be added. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Also share it with your friends. So we'll wait for the host to be configured. So I have upgraded the ESX server from 6.7 so you will see a lot of other VMs populating here and this is the brand new ESX host again this is a brand new host which doesn't have any VMs and this is the host which is still getting configured to wait for it to get fully populated they go now we are able to see the VMs and that is successfully configured now um, as I was saying this is this is my DNS server running here and we have our vcsa01.lab.local which is vcsa01.lab.local so that's it for today guys thank you very much for watching Comment down below and let me know if you like the, today's topic. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and uh, hit the notification bell to get all new updates from me. My blog is agileops.co.uk. Be sure to subscribe to my blog because all the videos which I am covering on my YouTube channel, I'll be posting blog posts around it so you can follow with step by step instructions with screenshots. I would love to hear from you. So you can follow me on Twitter and send me a message on Twitter or you can send me a direct message at Ibrahim Qureshi as you can see here. Enjoy watching and keep sharing. Cheers. Bye.